Hey guys, Ray here. Welcome to the channel. I like to explore power options when the power goes out. So today we are looking at various different types of batteries. So I recently did a review on these Ruxu server rack batteries and cabinet. And people were asking me, why would I buy that battery when I have this fancy new wall mount battery here I could buy for cheaper? So hopefully this video will help you decide whether you want a wall mount battery for your system or a server rack battery for your system. And if you're gonna want a server rack battery for your system, hopefully this video will help you decide what type of server rack battery you're gonna wanna purchase. So let's jump right into it. If you wanna have some fun, come along. So let's first look at the pros and cons of a server rack type battery or a wall mount type battery. So if you're only gonna need 15 kilowatt hours for your specific system, it's kind of hard to argue with the wall mount battery. You don't need a server rack cabinet to put your batteries in. It's seamless, it integrates with this junction box, holds all my wires here. It's very clean. If I only needed 15 kilowatt hours, I would go with this type of battery. This is a 6,000 XP, but the 18K can hook right on top of that, or different types of inverters will can hook on top of here. But it's pretty hard to argue with the look of this. It's pretty nice, close to the wall, so you can walk past it without hitting it. But there are some cons regarding the wall mount battery that you probably should consider. So the first con is weight. So even though these batteries are technically cheaper, than the server rack batteries because you don't have to buy a cabinet to go with them. If you have to go to the chiropractor because you hurt your back, that's gonna offset your cost quite a bit. So I overdid this when I was trying to mount this battery onto the bracket in the back here and my back was hurting for like four days. It was not fun. Also, if you need to get this like down the stairs, you're probably gonna have to get like a sled or something or dollies are really uncomfortable going downstairs for me because you have to hold them as they're going down the stairs. If, if this thing starts falling down the stairs, you're gonna have a hole in the wall and I don't know what's gonna happen, but this is almost 300 pounds and it's 300 pounds that's very awkward as well. But another con to this battery is, even though it doesn't take up a lot of space here, it does take a lot of space up in your wall. So if you need like 120 kilowatt hours for your system, that'll be about four of these batteries. So in my, for my scenario, I would be putting these batteries against the wall of my garage. So I'd have literally four of these batteries. I'd have to take out my cabinets here and my entire wall would be filled with these batteries. Consider that with a server rack battery, just stack it really high. And then I could use the rest of my garage wall for workbenches or whatever I want. Now Engineer 775 does a lot of off-grid large builds with a lot of batteries and he doesn't use these right now maybe because they're so new but I think he's probably going to just stick with the server rack batteries because he stacks those really high and he can hold a lot of batteries in a small amount of space. If you only need one battery or two of these types of batteries this is this system is probably going to be the best option for you in my opinion. Yeah, these batteries are su currently super popular and they're sold out from Signature Solar's website. They'll be in stock maybe in a couple months, but they are currently still available at Current Connected. Okay, so if you've narrowed down your decision to a server rack battery, let's look at the different type of server rack batteries that we have here. So I'm gonna look at the Life Power 4 battery. We'll look at the EG4 LL V2 or S battery that EG4 offers. And then we're also gonna look at the Ruxu battery that's available. Okay, so I'm gonna put the server rack batteries in kind of two different classifications. I'm gonna say the Life Power 4 and the Ruxu battery are budget batteries. I'm gonna put this battery in the category of a premium battery. Okay, so this is the EG4 LL V2 battery. This model also comes in the LLS model, which is pretty much exactly the same as this, except it has rapid shutdown functionality if you need rapid shutdown. So I've absolutely loved this battery. It is a beast. I put this battery in my RV and I've taken it over 6,000 miles. This battery starts my air conditioner fine, no voltage drop. This thing is amazing. So this battery, once it reaches like below 80%, it can't start my air conditioner in my RV. But this battery, 
it, it's almost empty and it still is able to start my air conditioner. This thing is very powerful. It has a touch screen. So, and this battery has built-in fire arresters. This comes in 12 volt and also 24 volt model. So if you're only gonna buy like one battery for maybe like a wood shop you have out back, or if you need a battery for an RV, I would definitely buy this one. And I can't say enough good things about this battery, but it is more expensive. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the budget batteries, Life Power 4 battery and also the Ruxu battery. So these budget batteries don't have the same discharge current support as this premium battery. However, if you get multiple of these batteries to share the current load, then that shouldn't be a problem for you. For the same price as five of these batteries, I can get six of the budget batteries. So if you're gonna get a full rack of batteries, I do like the budget batteries for that reason. For over discharge current, the BMS will protect, will protect you there. And it also has this breaker built in as well for that. So another pro regarding this battery is if you buy your equipment from Signature Solar and a lot of people in the United States and Canada do, you do have support if you buy one of these batteries from them. Okay, let's talk a little bit about safety standards and product listings. So in the United States, we have an organization called OSHA that is in charge of safety. And they have contracted with UL to create various standards for different products like batteries or inverters. And OSHA has different uh, testing laboratories that will test against UL standards. So it's kind of confusing. ETL has a laboratory, uh, UL even has a testing laboratory. And there's, I think there's like six or uh, seven different laboratories in the United States that can test products according to UL listings. And you will see, if you go on their website, you can see the different certificates where batteries and inverters have been tested against UL standards. So uh, all the batteries here have UL 1973 certificates. And that's including the Ruxu battery. Okay, so here's my Ruxu server rack cabinet. Let's go ahead and look at the pros and cons of this battery. So I've used this battery rack for about a month and a half. So I guess the main con of this battery is it's not, you don't have support from Signature Solar. So if you buy all your equipment from Signature Solar and you buy these batteries, you won't have any support. So hopefully Signature Solar will start selling these batteries and they can support them in the future. So that would be awesome. But they are supported by Current Connected. So if you buy your equipment from Current Connected or you want to use these batteries, uh, just get them from Current Connected and you will have support. So another pro of the, these batteries versus the EG4 batteries is there's a worldwide distributors for these batteries. So if you want to buy one of the EG4 batteries overseas, I was calling them and they said you have to get like a freight forwarding service. I think that can be kind of tricky, but these batteries, they have different distributors all over the world. So another thing that I really like about these battery is it, batteries is they have a smaller profile. So I don't want these batteries to use up the entire space in my garage. So this is a six rack cabinet, but I could take the wheels off these, this cabinet and it would sit a little bit lower and I could hide this battery underneath my workbench. So I could put two of these batteries underneath the workbench and it would just be totally hidden. So one other pro that this battery has is there's a self-heating option you can buy. I think it's only like $50 more per battery if you want to add that as an option. Even the premium server rack batteries don't have that. So the wall mount batteries, they do have the self-heating option as well. But that's a big pro if you live in a cold environment. So one of the cons of these batteries is it doesn't have the full, it doesn't have the same level of communication to the EG4 inverters. For instance, I could log into the app and I can't see that I have three batteries connected. The communication to the inverter isn't quite there, but it's pretty close. So another pro is that this battery cabinet comes with support for 10 of these batteries. The EG4 cabinet only supports six batteries. I think you might be able to like take the wheels off and like double stack them and maybe mount it to the wall. That might work. So this cabinet is, I think it's like 29 inches uh, deep this way. There's a little bit of empty space right here. Now the rack for the EG4 batteries, it is, I believe it's 26 inches deep. So if I could make the decision, which would I buy? 
So if I'm gonna charge my home and I'm gonna probably get an electric vehicle, that means I want at least a server rack cabinet with at least 10 batteries. So it's kind of a toss up. I've already got three batteries, so I might as well just get six more. And I probably should have got the bigger cabinet. So this is my main house electrical panel, my battery bank and my inverter. I've got solar panels in the backyard and everything's running off solar right now. So it is possible, but I'll include a link to the install of this system as well. But let me know what kind of battery you would choose and you prefer. Let me know what I missed. But if you are interested in purchasing any of these batteries, I will include discount codes in the description that work with the link. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.